What's going on everybody, it's the one and only Q here from RetroQ Gaming and over the last couple of years we've had a slew of all types of these new classic mini consoles coming out from multiple different manufacturers. You have the NES Mini, the SNES Mini, the Mega Drive Mini, the PS1 Mini, hell there's even a TurboGrafx-16 Mini. Real quick, if you're not up on what these mini consoles are, it's essentially a small little unit with a self-contained emulator and a select list of important games pre-installed on there there's no expandable storage or anything like that but it lets you get a, a good idea of what that generation and that console was all about with some of its higher profile titles now ever since many of these have blown up in the good way and that is blown up in popularity not blown up like a galaxy note 7 many people have been asking for a mini version of their own personal favorite console We've even had certain times where companies like maybe Sega have potentially teased the idea of something like a Dreamcast Mini. And now it looks like we might even be getting a new addition to this whole lineup, or at least possibly the R&D slash announcement of all of it. Just yesterday, Seamus Blackley, the creator and designer of the original OG Xbox 180, he took to Twitter to find out if anyone would be interested in a, let's call it an OG Xbox Mini, if you will. Now, the key thing to note as well, the one that he did show off with this as a completely theoretical idea, of course, was designed on the original design with the Xbox. Everyone knows the big black box that the Xbox eventually became. But if you've ever seen it, there's actually a prototype that was originally going to be the design of the original Xbox. It's essentially just a giant X. But there was one thing that was interesting to note about what he tweeted about this. Not that it would only just play a select selection, select selection, wow, of OG original Xbox 180 games, but there is a little bit of expanded functionality that makes this one, coupled with Microsoft's current business practices, slightly different. Because not only did he mention playing OG original Xbox 180 games, but he also specifically listed the ability to stream on there. Now the reason why that one's a little bit more interesting and a little bit more important in this example is because Microsoft have the whole Project X Cloud thing going on. So in theory, you could, for some reason, subscribe to that awful service, and then you could stream potentially, I don't know, maybe a bigger list of OG Xbox games, Xbox 360 games, Xbox One games, or even the new Xbox Series Mess console games. All on this one little small miniature unit, which would naturally be cheaper than a current generation console, be it the Xbox Series S or the Xbox Series X aka the Xbox Series Mess generation. But there's also one other big important thing to talk about when it comes to this, is it would be very important that the Xbox games, the OG Xbox 180 games, be installed physically inside this. I don't want to, if, for example, this was to come out, I don't want to hear how all of this, it has a library of 100 Xbox OG games, but you have to stream all of them. You don't play any of them. You just stream all of them. That's worthless. That is bullshit. Nobody wants that from a whole collectible mini console. So if it had a bunch of them locally installed on the, the hard drive or on the solid state drive inside it already and could stream newer or different stuff as well, that's a whole other story. Anyway, I'm happy about this. I want to see where it goes. I would very, very, very much like to pick one of these up if it did come out and have some nice stuff on it. But of course, the big important questions. We can assume four controller ports. It's pretty safe to assume that. But what games are we going to see on there? Halo 1, Halo 2, Absolute shoe in but there's so many other great games, both Xbox exclusive, as well as just multi-platform from that generation, that could easily, easily make it on there and be all very important. I'm curious what games that you would like to see on here, and why is number one on that list Kung Fu Chaos?